All right, guys, Andy Elliott. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about three things to look for in a lifelong partner. Now, I need you to understand this. Me and my wife have been married for 15 years, been together 17, and we are on fire. And I'm gonna give you three things. I don't care how old you are. We're made for communion. I'm gonna give you three things that are gonna change your life and let you know if you're with the right one or what the right one look like. Check it out. Wait, let me get my head straight. I need a drink of water. It's been days I've had a headache. Don't wanna wake up one day, feel like I regret things. I want my story just to have it. Alright, guys, here we go. Andy Ellie, grab a pen, grab a piece of paper. You know how we train. Come on, we're gonna write stuff down. What's written will be retained. Step number one: how you know if you're with the right person or what to look for in a lifelong partnership. Write this down to be direct. This is super important. In a world right now that everybody walks around on eggshells around each other because they don't want to offend each other, they don't want to burden anybody, they don't want to bother somebody. If you're going to look for someone to be in a lifelong, that means for your entire life partnership, you want to find someone that you can be direct with. What does that mean? Hey babe, I love you, but I don't like onions. You may say, Andy, what's this about? Listen, hey babe, I like you, I, I love you, you're every, I just don't like it when you do that. Okay, see people, they don't, hey babe, you know what, I like, I, I don't like you doing business with her. I'm gonna tell you something, my wife told me our second year into our relationship that there was a guy, she goes, I don't want you to do um, business with that guy. And I remember I said, babe, come on, he's a good guy. And she goes, Andy, I need you to understand this. As your lifelong partner, the person's gonna be with you forever, my job is to protect you. Also, I don't want you to play safe. I want you to be the leader of the home, but I have an instinct that tells me that that person is not the person you wanna do this deal with. Now, I'm telling you because you're going to regret it later on. Guess what? I didn't listen to her. I should have. And sure enough, about a year later, the guy burned me, it cost me a couple million. I need you to understand something. I learned a very valuable lesson outside of money. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. My wife, she's my best friend. She wants me to be happy. She also wants to protect me and she cares about me more than anyone else in this world. If I was to get sick and I had cancer, she would be there with me until I died while a lot of other people would leave. Listen to me, a lifelong partner, lifelong, is someone that you can be direct with and you can tell the truth even when you know it's gonna hurt them. Be direct. This is super important. So me and my wife, we have an agreement that no matter what, we don't hold anything back from each other. See, I know a lot of people in relationships that hold their tongue and they wanna tell their partner something, but they feel like they can't tell them. You know why? Because they haven't set a standard and a rule to be direct with each other. Had they done that, they would have made the best relationship in the world. So listen, step one, be direct. Make, it, make an agreement that we're going to be direct. Tell them you're looking for someone you can be direct with. Hey, they're not a nag when they're being direct with you. That means they're allowed to express how they feel and they feel safe and they can trust you that they can, they can openly tell you how they feel. When you get two people that run this way, nothing can ever get between them and they'll have a lifelong badass um, relationship or marriage. All right, number two, guys. This is gonna be whenever you piss somebody off, you'll see what you have with them. You know, I learned something really easy. So what to look for in a lifelong partnership? It's simple. You wanna look for somebody that when you guys piss each other off, which means there's a disagreement, which means there's conflict, which is good. Conflict is not bad. When me and my wife get into a fight, we fight for five minutes, we go for resolution, not for, for winning. I don't wanna win. I don't. Look, when I succeed, that's her success. When she succeeds, that's my success. If I win and she loses, that's stupid. So it's really important when we're together and we're arguing about anything, number one, we never argue in front of anybody else under any circumstance. We will, we will go somewhere where it's just me and her. Well, I see a lot of people fight in front of other people, very disrespectful, okay? By the way, very untasteful, okay? It looks like crap. But secondly, when we're together and we're arguing about something, we never leave the room together. What does that mean? That means she gets mad, okay? I get mad. I don't say, hey, I, you know what? I need space. Lifelong partners don't need space. 
They don't want space. They want to resolve the problem with you because they love you. If anybody says, I need space, I need to go for a drive, I need to leave, you got the wrong person. So I want to tell you, you want to be with somebody that when you're being direct with them, if it does end up causing a fight, that you guys can work for resolution. And you guys, nobody leaves the room until it's resolved. What does that mean? You don't go out to the kitchen and I stay here, okay? You don't leave for the night and go stay at a buddy's house. Okay, like you guys stay in the room together until you resolve it. That's gonna be rule number two for a lifelong partnership. All right, number three guys, this one is super freaking important, okay? How to know you find the right partner, how, what to look for in the right partnership, rule number three. Number one, when you get into this directness that we just talked about, and then there becomes an argument Okay, and I told you never to leave the room and resolve it. Who do you tell about that fight? This is a big one to me. I'm gonna ask you a question. If you had a daughter and she called you and said, hey, dad or mom, um, this guy called me the B word, right? Or she said this to me and she's really mean. There's a good chance or you'd be like, dude, I, I'm not supporting that guy no more. I can't believe you talked that way to my daughter. I cannot believe that. Well then the fight's over, they're getting along now and then they come around, hey dad, this is my boyfriend, member. You're like, dude, I don't like that guy. Why? Because she told you about the fight. Listen, no one's perfect in this world, so I need you to understand something. When you get into an argument, when you get into a fight, don't you ever, 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 ever in your life tell your friends, don't tell your family, don't tell your boss, do not tell anybody in the world about your and her fight, about, about how you guys got into a heated argument about maybe something she did that pissed you off. Because listen to me, I'm gonna explain this to you. Those people now, they will no longer support your relationship. And before too long, you're gonna look up and you've got this girl that you love or this guy that you love and you'll notice your friends no longer support you with him. They don't look at him the same way they used to look at him or they don't look at her or your parents don't. Guys, your boss is like, dude, she's a nag. It's like, dude, you know why they don't support you? Because you freaking ruined it. You opened your damn mouth, you couldn't master it, and you complained. So things that I look for in a lifelong partnership is that me and my wife made a rule. Number one, we're never gonna leave the room. Number two, we're gonna be direct with each other. Number three, we're gonna fight fair. Okay, we're gonna fight fair, we're gonna fight fast, we're gonna get over stuff, we're gonna fight for resolution, not fight for victory, okay? And then lastly, we're never going to complain or tell anybody about anything we've gone through because we are best friends and this is our life and that's a lifelong partnership. So I don't know where you're at. I don't know if you have this now or if you're going to be looking for something, but if you can find somebody that can give you the, these three things, which I know you can, guess what? Tell them up front what you want. Tell them up front how you roll. Call your core values, call your standards. You'll end up living a life that not only will you be massively successful with this person, but it'll be like heaven on earth. You'll end up having a great life and you'll love this person to death. So I hope this helps you guys. It's uh, how me and my wife built our uh, marriage millionaire relationship. And I know you can too. See you soon. Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.